see if we got anybody tonight. Hello. Happy Christmas Eve, Brooklyn. Merry Christmas, guys. Oh, I'm happy to see that there's some of you on here. Oh, Merry Christmas to you and the boys. Thank you, Aprilie. Hello. Indraini. I never know if I'm saying your name right. I hope you and the boys have the most amazing night and day tomorrow. Happy Christmas Eve. How's everyone doing? Happy Christmas Eve. Hi, Linda. Don't look at my mess. I have a ton of like bags that are filled with Christmas gifts for my best friend. It's <laughs> turning a bit. Making a potato salad. I wasn't in the mood to cook at all. But I don't know, like at one o'clock, I was like, maybe I should cook something. Usually, like us Hispanics, we celebrate Christmas Eve with like a party, food, everyone's gathered, gathered together. But with the whole pandemic, like I'm actually a little sick. I tested on Tuesday, but I'm negative. I got my results last, like at four in the morning tonight, today. But my nose is like, I've been sneezing. It's like itchy. My throat was killing me from like Monday till yesterday. Today it's better, but I don't know if you can hear it. It's still like a little raspy. Noah is coughing really bad. Today he was a lot better, but all week it was so bad. He had his Christmas show and it was so cute. Let me show you. Oh. They sang like jingle bells and all these cute Christmas songs. And in one of them, he was like holding this little thing and singing. I love it. I have another one. My best friend is his teacher, actually. Give me one second. She made these little ornaments. She took those pictures of the kids and she had them like decorate this little frame. It's so cute, I love it. I didn't know she was taking those pictures that day. I would have dressed him differently, but he's in his full. Marvel Avengers outfit. <laughs> so I put that on the tree. My best friend, who I said was his teacher, she was out. She came in Monday, but we sent her home because she was just terrible. She had body aches, fever. She, I think the fever just stopped till yesterday. She tested. And she still hasn't gotten her results. She tested on Monday. And then on Tuesday, I was like, hey, look, go to the place where I went. But I think it's getting so backed up because there's, like, lines again, crazy lines. It's just to get tested, and it's, like, insane. Mm -hmm. There's a lid. It's insane.
My best friend's sister works at a hospital and she was at Carmen. The past month, it's been like a steady amount of patients. Like it's 17, 18 patients. 19, 20 was like the highest. But she said this week that the unit got completely full and they're ready to open another one. This was like two or three days ago. I'm sure at this point, they opened another unit. She's actually working right now. Merry Christmas, Linda. Hope the boys are doing well and excited about Christmas. They're so excited. Um, <clears throat> Noah put out cookies. I ate them already. He put out cookies for Santa and milk. And he put a carrot for the reindeers. Um, <clears throat> what's it called? He was like, is Santa going to like these cookies? And he was like picking the ones that he wanted to put. Um, he's very excited. He made a valid point. He was like, we don't have a chimney. How is Santa going to come down and give us presents? I was like, he'll find a way. And then I had him watch the movie Santa Claus. I don't know if you've seen where he goes to the lake. Is it the heating pipe or something? And once he gets down, the chimney pops up. <clears throat> they look beautiful tonight. I feel a mess. I don't feel like in the spirit at all. <coughs> Everyone is like, so many, my best friend just told me that a girl that she was just with the other day tested positive. Everyone's testing positive or everyone's sick. My, all my coworkers were sick, so this week was so tough at work. So many people were calling out. And then with the festivities, and on top of that, they had us hand out Chromebooks to every single child because we're not sure if we're coming back September, I mean, January with all of this that's going on. We're just preparing parents and kids. Just in case everything goes virtual. Just finished some last minute wrapping. Took a bite of a mince pie and carrot, which I had to show my little one sentence. Been. Merry Christmas. Oh, yes. I ate the cookies. Should I, I should leave crumbs now. I have another one. We left them these and like little, we had other ones that were like little trees. Merry Christmas, Kimberly. I had COVID and I'm recovering for three weeks. Oh man. Hey beautiful, I missed you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, Oscar. I would make you some tea. I'm feeling so much better now, but I'm still like not 100%. Hope the boys feel better soon. Thank you. Blake is completely fine. Noah's the one that has a nasty cough. I haven't been in the mood to make Christmas cookies since their puppy passed. Oh, I'm sorry. It's so difficult when there is sickness in the family. Yeah. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, Efrain. Salinas. So overwhelming, right? Yeah. There's just so much going on. I see people like at parties and stuff and I'm just like not really in the mood I don't know maybe for New Year's it'll be different I just don't feel okay being around so many people but at the same time I don't know Let me see. Potatoes. We're almost done. What are you guys up to? Their dad came over. Their dad is like a mess again. 
there was a point where he was like two to three weeks being helpful and coming around and just taking them to doctors, getting them their physicals, and he was doing all of that. But then like two weeks ago, he just started going, two to three weeks ago, he started going downhill again. And I don't know. Like, I'm just so disappointed again. And I should just not be playing. How do I say it? I shouldn't expect anything from him. Because he sent me a message like three days ago. And it was like, I found something out that it's like serious. And if this information is true, yada, yada, yada. Like, very vague about what he's saying. Like, almost like looking... Look at all that mess I have up there. Don't look. <laughs> almost very, like, always finding a reason. I feel like this is what he's doing. Like, finding a reason to excuse him being absent. But he doesn't really tell me, like, what's going on. So when he said that, I was like, what happened? He's like, I can't really say anything right now. And then right... Today, like a few hours ago, he passed by. Well, he sent me a message. He's like, will you be home? And I was like, yeah, I'll be home with the boys. And he's like, all right. In the message, he said, I'll pass by really quick, drop off the gifts and give them a hug. And I was like, you park the car and you come in. So then he did that and he was here for like an hour with them. But like barely talking. And I was like, what's going on? And he was like, nothing, it's just something personal. I can't really talk about it. So then I was like, are you going to take them on the 30th? Or, I mean, on the 31st? And he was like, I don't know. I have something going on. And I was like, like it's like speaking to a wall. It's so difficult. Like, I, I feel bad because he seems very overwhelmed. And he said it like, I'm very overwhelmed. But who... Who feels bad for me? I'm the one with the boys while he's moping around feeling bad about himself or whatever it is that's going on. <clears throat> and I was ready to throw all of that at him. Like, I wish I could just, like, drop things and take the time to, like, focus on my mental health and do this and do that. But no, I have the responsibility of taking care of the boys 24-7. But I didn't feel like arguing at that point. Look, I just learned to wrap gifts like this. I've always wanted to be that person who has like the beautiful, it's supposed to be a bowl with like the little curly ribbon, whatever. But yeah, that's what happened today. All right, Carmen, I found you through your separation video. I hate that you went through that, but I just wanted you to know it got me through the first few days of my separation when I was dazed and confused. Oh. Blue September. I understand. I'm glad the video was helpful and you'll get through it. Same. I'm so over this year not to mention my daughter's birthday, New Year's Eve. So many things one after another. Oh, this these past two weeks, I feel like it's been like nonstop. <sighs> Hi, Carmen. Wishing you and your boys a very warm and happy Christmas Eve. Thank you, Frank. The struggle is real. Yes, Oscar, it is. I'm glad you guys are on. I have someone to talk to. Kind of, I'm just going to watch some movies. I don't even feel like watching Christmas movies. But... Um, there's like a Sandra Bullock movie. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it in like the reflection. The Unfor Unforgivable. I don't know if any of you have watched it. It's on Netflix. And I'm going to watch that later on. It's ready. It's ready. Even a longer. Happy holidays, Graciela. I've been eating these past two weeks. 
for like crazy. All of these cookies. Look at this. My job is crazy with parents giving chocolates and cookies and pastries. And A parent gave this and it was filled with big Christmas cookies and chocolate covered pretzels. And I basically ate the whole thing. This was for the office. But I kept the container. It's so cute. And then these are just little things I have here. Blake's teacher made these. And they're so adorable. It's a hot chocolate with marshmallows. Isn't that so cute? Teachers are so creative. And Noah had this little thing for his Christmas show. He had it on. So much stuff up here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I don't want to break it, but well, you can kind of see it. It's a gingerbread man. One of the parents in Noah's class gave this to every single child. I feel like a horrible mom. I did not have time to get them anything. I just got the teacher's present. Um, they had a gift exchange between the kids. I was able to get Noah's gift for the little girl. But that's it. Next year, I got to prepare um, early on. And she gave them um, icing, and there's a little container in there with, like, sprinkles and cute little stuff to decorate the gingerbread man. That's so cute. I feel like sneezing, but it keeps going away. <laughs> Hi, Carmen. Wishing you and your boys... Hola, Carmen. Feliz Navidad para ti y tus muchachos. Hola, Carlos. Feliz Navidad. So, I marinated a pork shoulder, which is benin. I'll be making that tomorrow. That takes like six hours to cook, so I'll probably put it at like six in the morning. I don't know who I'm cooking for, but I'm doing it. <laughs> Um, and I'll make arroz con andules, and I have the potato salad that I'm doing now. But usually potato salad tastes a lot better the next day because it soaks in all of the good stuff. And I may or may not do a flan. I'm not sure. I got my, my cabinet on top. everybody up to what are you guys eating tonight are you guys celebrating the hispanic way party on christmas eve and then you open gifts at 12 my kids are i mean last year i think <laughs> we did it at my friend's house and we opened gifts at 12 yeah i think so Carmen, what are your plans? What are your plans or goals for 2022? I used to be one that would be like, oh, I'm going to do this and that. But I feel like I'm living day by day. I'm not putting pressure on myself for anything. Because I'm one that if I don't complete a goal, like I put myself done a lot but I wanted to travel more but how things are looking I don't think I'm going anywhere anytime soon flights were canceled I don't know if you guys saw that a ton of United flights were canceled um I just want to better myself mentally physically I feel like when I'm not okay physically, I'm not okay like in every other way. Like I've gained, I feel like I've gained weight. And they tell me like, you gained a little bit of weight, like you weren't looking healthy because after the breakup I lost a ton of weight and it wasn't healthy the way that I lost it. But I gained a little bit after and then I felt like amazing. But now I'm like sluggish, all this, like, like I said, the past two weeks, all we've been eating in the office is pastries, chocolates, 
and that doesn't make you feel good. So I kind of want to work out to get into yoga again. Um, I just want to, I wanted to travel. I don't think that's going to happen for the boys. Well, for the boys, for plans, their March, their March, their birthday is March first and March twentieth. I want to be able to plan their birthdays ahead of time. Like I should be planning it in January, but again with the whole COVID situation, I wanted to take them to like a little indoor park that we have in the area. But if things get bad. I don't know if we'll be able to celebrate their birthday like that. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> I'm working. No dinner tonight. Oh, I'm just home with my two kids and having chicken. That's cool, Graciela. Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve, Sharon. Putting up a shower curtain for my cousin that is at a Christmas party with her hubby. While doing my laundry, it's the least I can do because my hotel washer is broken on a business trip. My 1,000 shares of TMDI stock costs $700. <clears throat> this is Linda, increíble. Thank you. And you're invading her liquor cabinet? You know what? Let's have some wine. I have this little thing. Is this like a whole glass? One of my coworkers gave it to me in like a cute package with one of the candles. I have a ton of candles. But with one of the Bath and Body Works candles and and she gave me a few other things like bath bombs, like a little care package, self-care, and then a little thing of Moscato. I'll show you my glass. I love this thing. I have over there Noah's stocking. I'm so bad. I didn't even get Blake a stocking. And you know what? It doesn't even have anything inside. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. I got everyone's gift like three days ago. I finished gift wrapping like on Wednesday. No, that. Yeah, I think it was one day I was still wrapping it. No, actually, today I was still wrapping it. Heavy bay leaves. I love bay leaves. I have like a liquor collection up there, and it's not even because of me. Their daddies too collect stuff. I have Mama Juana. Have you guys tried that? I have. I have a giant bottle like this of Grey Goose, and then I have a smaller one. No, but the big one is like this. No joke. But I don't drink. That's been there for like two, three years. I had a thing of Bailey's. I have Patron. I don't drink. I don't drink. I only drink wine every once in a while. I have the coffee Patron. I tried it one time. Look, it says mom. Let's do this. <laughs> I wanted to watch movies too, but then I started music videos. Saw some. 
Hi, Carmen. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello, Rob. How are you? All I want for Christmas is you. Mm, nice and chilled. I'm doing good, and you? I'm good, Rob. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Mary. Shrimp and crab legs. Is that what you're eating, Oscar? I forgot I had left my rings. I'm gonna put them on before I lose them here in the kitchen. The other day, Blake grabbed them and he had them in his mouth. This kid. Noah would never put anything in his mouth. He's like the total opposite. How is the weather in New Jersey? Well, it's in the 30s. Last night we had a little bit of snow, but by the time the kids woke up, it was like melted already. It just looked like it, it had been raining all night. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everyone and you too, Carmen. Thank you, Rob. Same to you. I'm sure you can put music on here. Oscar, you're eating shrimp and crab legs. Seems pretty awesome. Okay, need the name. are done. Potatoes. Oh. I really don't know who I'm cooking for. But I'm doing it. It just doesn't feel right. Christmas Eve. No music. No food. So sad. Like, that's how we grew up, with a ton of music, family. My mom has to work tomorrow, so she's home sleeping. Has to get up at, like, 4 or 5 in the morning. Carlos, what did you just delete? I'm from Arkansas.
I have a friend who's like pretty in the dumps right now. I feel bad. Keeps posting stuff. That's like so sad. But he has his moments when he's up and down. And he doesn't like, like if you ask him, like, do you need something? Like, I feel like it pushes him more to not speak to us. So I just like let him be. I don't want to smile because I'm not really going to eat right now. Mm. Buy these little. I have another box. Let me see. Do I? I do right now. So much. They sell these at Trader Joe's. It comes in a purple box. These are so good. And. I love it with this dip, the spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip from Trader Joe's. So good. I'm a snacker. What can I do? I just put that it's been raining for two days in California. Not really feeling this right now. <laughs> I don't even know what I want. That's cute. Love it. You're like fabulous, Carmen. Thank you. I am a pretty hot mess. Look at my hair. I'm wearing my big baggy shirt. Why are these in here? These don't belong in there. These are from Trader Joe's too. The butter almond thins, these are pretty good. No, it's the Angle Carlos. And this fridge is pretty small. A five five. Aldi and Trader Joe's are brothers in real life. Nah. -uh. Not true. Huh. If I'm taller than the fridge, no. It's just the angle of the camera. But I'm actually five five. I don't know if that's considered average. I think that's average. Carmen's channel brought to you by Trader Joe's. Sponsor me, Trader Joe's. <laughs> you didn't know that, Rob. <coughs> I have both of them pretty close by. Look it up. Talking about New Year, New Me. All these snacks. This, I don't know why it was in the fridge.
I feel so drained, like tired. I nap today with Blake, so there's no way. Um, let me move some stuff. What are you guys up to? Oscar already told us his little adventure. <laughs> I have that little part. And everyone keeps singing. I hear those sleigh bells ringing in my head. You know Blake loves that song too. Okay. I have potatoes that I have to cut. They're still too hot. You're making me hungry. Cheers, mama. Good vibes only. Happy holidays. I'm having Mexican eggnog. Trompope. My mom loves that. Apparently, when she was little in Honduras, her mom used to make that every Christmas. When your nose itches, it means money coming in. Remember that. Yes. Bring it in. <laughs> I need all the money. That 600 a month I was getting for the boys helped tremendously. And I won't be getting that. I think it stops December. Whew. Building a puzzle. Nice. Carmen, you look in the festive season with your wine. <laughs> do I have another one? I do not. I just have that one. I have Prosecco, but I'm not. I've had this for months. I feel like I would have that as a mimosa. That wine looks good. It really is. I like Moscato. I am eating soup and drinking ginger tea. Good. Make yourself feel better. Yes, my cousin left me a plate of a plate while she went to her party. Excuse me, why didn't you go out with your cousin? If you don't mind me asking. Happy holidays, Carmen, to you and the boys. Happy holidays, D. Graham. So what's new, guys? Are any of you planning to travel? Is any traveling in the future planned out? I really need to sneeze and it just goes away. Ugh, it's the worst. Why am I putting this in the sun? Do you guys store things in the oven? Because I, I live in a small apartment in New Jersey and we do not have storage space. Gotta do what's best. Thank you. You're welcome, D. Graham. Hey, I feel the same way, but we do it for yourself and kids. They will remember the kitchen smell that mom made. This, that, what they will remember. Make memories for them. I always have that in mind. 
no matter what's happening, I always try to remember that. I always want to make memories with them. With them, for them. <clears throat> I need to zoom in because I can't see. Carmen, I have trust issues after my betrayal. Did you have that too? Absolutely, I still do. Does it go away? Wanting so badly to move forward with my life. I don't know if that will ever go away. I don't know. But I feel like you can't, let me zoom out. I feel like you can't always like categorize everyone as the same. Everyone is different. But for me, I feel like I will always like be second guessing people, unfortunately. Even though like, I see myself like loving hard again because I'm just, that's just who I am, a hopeless romantic. I always try to see the best in people, but once like a person messes up with me, especially lately, I've noticed that I'm just, I shut down and there's no turning back, which I think is a good thing for me because. I'm just not going to allow people to step all over me. But at the same time, it's not fair to go in with a new person with the mindset that they're just going to cheat on you, betray, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Planning my bucket list for next year. Nice. Do you have anything on that already? Carmen, I wish you and the boys a happy Christmas. Hope you guys feel better soon. I will turn off now. Everyone have a wonderful Christmas. Good night. Bye, Andrine. Andrini. Once a woman or man has been hurt, it's hard to move forward. But you can't hold on to that hurt forever because then you'll stay stuck in that hurt. Mind frame. Yes. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to your next partner. I feel like always go in with a clean slate. You can't like paralyze yourself because of this, because of a betrayal. Like, I'm telling you, someone who was betrayed after. At this point, I don't even remember. Was it 11 years, 12 years? 12 years. You see, you start forgetting things. You'll be okay. <laughs> you will be just fine. It's on them. They betrayed, they did the betrayal. They're the ones who have to live with that. They're a shitty person, not you. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Falling in love with the right person and matches your energy. In the stages of opening up a business, working with troubled kids. Oh. Working in schools, like you see situations and like it just breaks my heart sometimes. 
but then you also see like the good side of people. Mm. Okay, so I'm doing potato. I'm gonna put carrot, eggs, mayo, salt on the side and the fridge right now. I already have like a little bit of onion cut up with white vinegar and a little bit of olive oil. Mix a lot up and that's what you got. That's the potato salad. I think that's a Dominican potato salad. Well, they make it in other places, but in my area, that's how the Dominicans make it, and it's so good. They also make the Russian salad, so the red one, so delicious. That little sound I just made is so delicious. Just reminded me of Oprah. I saw a little video on Instagram. Is she married? She was welcoming a baby to her home. Lion King style. Like she had people singing like the theme song, I think, to the Lion King. But I've never like had that thought run across my mind. Is she married? Do any of you guys know? Does she have kids? I feel like we don't, well, I don't know much about her. Our youth needs guidance and direction, learning leadership skills. 100%. I feel like all these kids, especially with the year they've had, all they want to do is nap, play video games, not deal with the real world. They don't want to go to school. They want another shutdown to just hang out, be home, not too much. Making them so lazy. Taking care of her old parents. Who, Oprah? But she was like welcoming a baby to her home. I don't know if that was her daughter. Or daughter in law, I have no idea. Carrots are going in. What's new in your world, Carmen? Well, I have been talking, we'll say, with this guy for some time. And I feel like he's getting a little more lovey-dovey with me. I don't know if it's just the season, but he's definitely been a little more lovey-dovey. Like I said before, I'm just going to let things flow. I'm not forcing anything. So we'll see. Oh, I wish I had more of that. He wants me to spend New Year's with him, but... Um, my kid's dad doesn't want to take them. So I won't be able to because he's going like 
South Jersey and I don't want to make a trip with the kids around people that they don't know. Like, And New Year's Eve parties are not for little kids unless it's like at my friend's house where they can just fall asleep in their couch. But in like a random home, I'm not comfortable just like letting them sleep on the couch and like walk away. Like last year, for my, we were at my best friend's cousin's house. And I become so close to her too. My kids were sleeping. All the little kids were sleeping on the couch. Like they were literally right there. And we were like, right. They were like five feet away from us sleeping. I mean, Blake danced until like three in the morning. And then he knocked out. <laughs> but they were right there. We were watching them. But I don't know, like... He wants me to go with him, one of his bosses, he has two jobs. So he has a boss that invited him to a party that's in southern New Jersey. But I don't know these people and I'm not taking my kids around strangers right now. Yeah. The potatoes are still hot. Should I wait to add the mayo? You know what? I've never made this salad before, but my mom makes it all the time, and I watch her do it. But I feel like I should wait to add the mayo because it's still hot. It's not that hot, but no, they're fine. Take it one day at a time. Let it come natural. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to rush anything. Mm. Happy Merry Christmas and happy to you, Carmen, and to your kids, Carmen, and to everyone, too. Thank you, Rob. Celebrate the new year with him on a different day, especially you're not familiar with the people you don't know. I can't celebrate... I I'm barely with him because I'm always with the kids. You know, it's a little hard. He understands, but he doesn't have any kids. So I feel like it may get tiring for someone who may not understand what's going on. I mean, he, I know him for years. But this is the first time that we're getting to know each other in this level. So we'll see. You're really beautiful. You will find your soulmate from God, Carmen. Merry Christmas, sweetheart. Merry Christmas, Liam. One of my students that I absolutely adore. His name is Liam. He's the cutest. So many of you missing. Where is Ray? probably home celebrating with his family. There's a few others. Matt is probably with his daughter. Oh, it's not open. Let's see what yes, I do. I love potato salad. I'm very tempted to have it right now. Let's 
see. Well, I just wanted to say hi. It's been a minute since I've been on your live. Enjoy your Christmas with the boys. Thank you, D-Gram. Enjoy your Christmas. And if you guys don't celebrate Christmas, enjoy your night. making me hungry. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna add the onions. Let's see. Mm. I feel like that onion was strong. Ooh, and I need to add the eggs. I totally forgot about the eggs. Guys, you saw me putting the eggs. I forgot about them. I forgot about the eggs. I'm going to shock them. You have a good heart. Thank you, Oscar. What makes you say that out of nowhere? I hope they're cooked. I came to a realization. I am not alone on Christmas Eve having a drink with you, watching you cook. Love it. Aww. I'm not going to lie. Earlier was a little teary-eyed. It's not nice to be, well, for me, to be alone on Christmas Eve. But it is what it is. It's the times. Everyone's sick. I'm sick. The boys are sick. Well, Blake is fine, thankfully. Knock on wood. Because my kids take turns getting sick, apparently. But it just feels lonely. And hopefully, like, one day I'll get to see this again and I'll see. I'll be surrounded by a lot of people. And that's not what makes what should make me happy, but for holidays you just want to spend it with friends and family. Not alone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's 20 of you watching me cook. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's have a conversation. Let's make this fun. I can't believe Blake, like, he sees his dad and he's like, Daddy, this little kid. <laughs> it's crazy how children just love their parents unconditionally. He kept hugging him. 
And he barely knows this guy. Obviously, he calls him daddy because he hears Noah say it, but I feel like he should be weary of him since he doesn't know him. Not that he should, but another child probably would have been. Not Blake. Blake is funny. Alright guys, I'm cleaning over here. I'll be right back. So nobody answering the Oprah Oprah question. You guys don't know. She have kids, is she married? What's happening with her? I'm still here. <laughs> I can hear my neighbors. Everyone's jamming right now. Their music is so loud. But it's okay. It's the holiday season. They don't do it every day. My kids don't hear anything. I don't know why people complain so bad. I mean, like, right before I got on, I was going to get on a little earlier, but there was, like, a lot going on outside. There was a cops and an ambulance like right across the street. And when I come to notice, to notice, um, there was a guy that had passed out on the porch and he was definitely drunk. Like the EMT came, they woke him up and he was just stumbling. I'm sure they get a ton of calls. You guys are so quiet tonight. <laughs> Why are you so quiet? As soon as I'm done, I'm going to end this, I guess, because we're not having a real conversation. It's just me. <laughs> Now you guys are watching me cook. I'll show you guys the end result of my salad. I already want it. Okay. So... I almost finished the board out of my puzzle while listening. <laughs> nice. Noah loves puzzles. I may come on tomorrow with the boys.
Yes, it's looking good. I'm almost done. I just eat this. <laughs> Okay, I think it might need a little more mayo. Merry Christmas, beautiful. God bless you and your kids. Thank you, Christian. Merry Christmas. Look at that cowboy hat. Where are you from? There's a ton of people here from Texas and California. I feel like most people that watch me are from those areas. Okay, let me try it. A little more of this. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, <laughs> it tastes so good. Black pepper. One more thing of mayo because it'll probably dry up in the fridge a bit. All right, I'm going to show you guys the end result and I'm going to log off of here. So I can clean up my kitchen, get it ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to do the cooking. At least I have this ahead. I don't have to worry about much. The grenade is already marinated. I just have to stick it in the oven for like six hours. I love it. Let me show you guys. So, boil potatoes, boil carrots, boil eggs, put it all together. Before I even started that, in a little, this is like Blake's little food container. In here, I put onion, white vinegar, a little bit of olive oil. I put this in the fridge. Then I started boiling everything. I cut everything up, put mayo, put the onions. I didn't put the vinegar. I took out the onion, put it on, and then I added a tiny bit of the vinegar and put it on the salad. Add pepper, salt to taste. I added salt when everything was boiling, so it's pretty good right now. And that's it. Pretty easy. Yummy. Hi, Lisa. You're from California and you are from New Jersey. But you guys love tuning in with you on Christmas Eve. I may come on with the boys tomorrow. So I'll see you guys pretty soon. Bye, guys. Merry Christmas. 
Enjoy your night. If you don't celebrate Christmas, have a good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. It was nice being on here with you guys. Bye-bye.